Hello everyone, this is Joe from the Cell Phone Geek. Today we're going to talk about Android. Okay, on Android, if you have a Android phone and you want to unroot it because you're shipping it back to your cell phone provider or you're giving it to your sibling and you don't want them to have root access or for whatever reason you want to unroot your phone, it's not working correctly, this is a uh, basic unrooting of any Android phone. This works on all phones. Okay, so first thing you want to do boot into the phone once you're on the phone go to the market or now it's called the play store go to the play store go in and go to the search and type in root explorer when you type in root explorer root explorer you have to pay for um, but you don't necessarily have to use the pay for one if you didn't already buy it because I think it's a few dollars you can use there's a free one called file expert that you can use that does the same thing called file expert you can type that in instead go ahead and download that and install it then once it's downloaded and installed go to your app drawer which you should know where that said that's on the bottom of your screen right in the center it's a whole bunch of little dots you click on that scroll down to that app which is either root explorer or file expert and once you do that, uh, app will open. Um, make sure you have root access to it. It should pop up. Super user should pop up. You just have to hit allow to allow root access. Once you do that, you're going to want to go to the phone portion of the phone space of your phone, not the SD card. And you know because when you scroll down you should see a folder called system. If you don't then you're in the SD card. You need to be in the memory of the phone itself. So you need to back up. So usually it says up. You hit the up button and it should bring you back to the main directory which should be your phone. So then scroll down, click on system. Once you click on system, scroll down till bin, which I think is the second one, so you may not even have to scroll down. Click on bin. Then, uh, depending on which app you're using, if you're using Root Explorer, then you have to, right at the top right corner of your screen, tap the mount R slash W icon. Um, it may only show mount R, which is fine because you want to do a write. Or that's a R is read. W is right, so read and write. Then you want to scroll down, which you're going to scroll way down, almost to the end of the list of files, and find the file that says SU. You want to tap and then hold down on that file called SU. A menu should pop up after a few seconds. They say two, could be a little bit more. And then a menu will pop up, and you scroll down and hit the delete button and then it'll delete that file out of there and then once you delete that file then you want to hit that up that up uh, button I was telling you which will bring you back one directory so instead of being under bin you'll be under system and then you're going to want to find a folder called xbin you're just in bin now you're going into xbin so you, this time you, you do have to scroll down the page a little bit find xbin click on that and then again you want to scroll down until you see the SU and once you find that you want to hold down hold down on the SU file until the menu pops up after two or three seconds then select and then click on delete which you may have to scroll down to click delete hit delete and that should delete that file and then there's one last spot you have to go so then you have to hit that up button again which will take you back into system so make sure you're under system and then you want to scroll to the top and then the first one it's going to say app you want to click on app and then in there this time you're going to have to scroll down and find super user which is going to be an app it's uh it says super user dot apk because it's an apk file so go ahead and scroll down and find super user once you find the super user one, again you're going to want to hold down on the super user APK file and after two to three seconds a menu will pop up and then scroll down and click delete. Once you hit delete it should delete the super user. 
once super user is deleted go ahead and hit the menu button on the phone which is actually a real button or it may be part of your touch screen but it will be at the bottom of your phone hit that and then it should have an option that says quit if you don't see that or exit if you don't see a quit or an exit there hit more and then it should pop up and there'll be an exit or quit hit that and then restart the phone so turn the phone off turn the phone back on and your super user if you go to pull up all of your apps your super user should not be in there if you go to the app drawer super user shouldn't be in there if it is I then go through these steps again and delete those files and if they, it is removed then at this point I recommend doing a restore to factory settings so if you don't know how to do that my other video on here for Android how to restore to factory settings I'll show you how to do that if you check out the other video I'll put a link in this video to the restore to factory settings so you can do that and once you do that then your phone is unrooted and you still have your warranty so if you're still under the year warranty technically you have the warranty they won't be able to find out that you rooted your phone um, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your phone during this process have a great day don't forget to subscribe and like my video and post any comments concerns that you have let me know send me any updates what you've been doing with your android phone and have a great day don't forget to subscribe peace